Hi Peaceful Place friends, welcome back. I'm excited to be here with you again today. We are going to talk more about hummingbirds. Um, we are going to talk about two things when it comes to hummingbirds. We're gonna talk about their life cycle and we're going to talk about the parts of a hummingbird, okay? So first we're gonna start with the life cycle of a hummingbird. And I'm going to show you this diagram and it'll help us give an idea of what a life cycle is. And I'll talk a little bit about that. Okay. So here is a life cycle diagram of the hummingbird. So you can see here, there's the adult and the adult female will lay the egg. Here's the egg. And then the egg will sit in the nest and it'll start to form a baby hummingbird inside. This is the embryo stage. And then once it's ready to hatch, it will become a hatchling and the egg will break open with that beak um, that the hummingbird is born with. It will um, hatch from the egg and then it will grow a little bit bigger and it's called a chick right here. And then this penny, this is a penny right here, it will kind of give you um, an idea of how small a chick is. So if you have a penny at home, you can hold it in your hand and you can see that's the size of a chick. And um, even smaller than that is when it's born. And then once the chick um, eats a lot and the mom feeds it and uh, starts to grow and get stronger, it will learn how to fly and it will leave the nest and become an adult. And then it'll follow that same cycle. So this is the life cycle. The, uh, it's like a series of changes that happen uh, over the course of a hummingbird's life, from when it's born to when it's an adult. And it follows the same pattern throughout its life. So, there was the little diagram that I had to show you the different stages of a hummingbird's life. And now I wanted to show you some pictures and talk more about those different parts and stages of the hummingbird's life. And we'll start from the beginning. We'll start with the egg. So I have here a picture of a hummingbird's eggs. Now, the hummingbird eggs uh, sit in a nest, and this is a really great picture because it shows the nest as well. And the nest is made of moss and parts of plants like leaves and thin twigs. And the mom builds the nest in a tree or in a shrub or bush. Um, and then once she has made it, she goes and collects spider webs. The mom uses spider webs to wrap around the nest to keep it nice and t uh, tight and close together. Isn't that neat? So after the mom builds the nest and um, gets it all prepared and ready, then come the eggs. So each hummingbird only lays two eggs. She can lay one or two. And here we see in this nest that there's two. Two little eggs and these eggs are small and white they're actually the size of a pea one single pea teeny tiny or the size of a jelly bean depending on which kind of hummingbird it is right some of them are bigger some of them are smaller so it can range from the size of a pea to a jelly bean and it sits for 18 to 19 days so that's like less than a month right 18 to 19 days, the mom will sit on it and keep it warm, and that baby chick will grow inside. Bring this back up right here. That's what's happening during those 18 days. The baby um, hummingbird is forming inside the egg. And here's another picture of a hummingbird's nest with two eggs in there. And did you know that the hummingbird eggs are the smallest laid egg in the world? The hummingbird lays the smallest eggs of any bird. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty tiny. All right, so after the egg, do you remember what comes next? The hatchling. I'll bring that diagram back up to show you where we're at now. So now we're gonna talk about this stage when the baby hummingbird 
breaks out of the shell and enters the world. So I have some fun pictures to look at of this stage of the hummingbird's life. So here you can see those are the two little hatchlings. Two little hatchlings right there. The mother bird feeds these little babies and she feeds them nectar and insects. And the way that she does that is by putting her bill inside of their mouth and feeding them food. Here you can see, hopefully you can see that. You can see the mama bird and she has her bill inside the baby's mouth and she's putting food in there so that the baby bird can start to grow and get strong and um, you can see here that those baby birds don't really have any feathers. The, it takes about eight days, so a little over a week, for those feathers to start to come in. And the baby bird stays in the nest and gets fed by the mama bird for about three weeks. Um, so again, less than a month, so three weeks. Uh, is how long the baby bird and, or sorry, the baby hummingbird uh, stays in the nest before it can start to learn to fly and leave the nest. So here I'm going to show you some pictures of the baby hummingbirds getting bigger. Right here. You can see they're not as tiny as before. So there's a couple of chicks. Remember when they're not hatchlings like this. So there's the hatchlings and then they get bigger but they're not quite ready to leave the nest they're not quite adults yet so they're called chicks and they are gonna stay in that nest and the mama bird is gonna keep an eye on them make sure they're nice and safe while they're growing bigger before they're ready to fly here's another picture you can see the two chicks getting bigger starting to outgrow that nest it's getting a little too cozy in there isn't it they're definitely quite squished together. So I think this is the stage where they're going to start learning how to fly and how to find nectar all by themselves and become adults. Okay, so after they are uh, little chicks and they grow bigger and bigger and start to grow out of the nest, they become adults. And when they're adults, that means that they can fly out of the nest and live on their own and find their own nectar and insects to eat. And if they're females, they can ha lay their own eggs. And so here, I'll show you a picture of two adults. And I showed this picture last week. It'll look familiar. But these are two adults. There's the male. You can tell by the color of his bright feathers on his throat. And then the female. She lays the eggs and makes the nest. And uh, she's what keeps the cycle going. They both do, but that's the mom that lays those eggs and when they're adults hummingbirds do one thing most of the time for their life they eat and eat and eat hummingbirds spend most of their life eating they eat every 10 minutes that is not a lot of time in between meals is it so they eat a lot they fly really quickly and they, the moms will make a nest and make more eggs and those eggs will become, will hatch and become babies and then those babies will grow and then they'll make eggs and it just keeps going in that cycle. Remember, there we go. There's that cycle again. And the adults, hummingbird adults, only live for about three to four years, which isn't very long, not as long as we live, not as long as our pets at home may live. Um, some of you are three or four years old, and that's about how old a hummingbird lives. So not very old, right? Not, very, not a very long life, but they live, they're beautiful and they work hard and they're very important to the environment. And because remember, they're pollinators, so they help all the other plants around us that give us food and all of that good stuff. So now that we have talked about the life cycle of the hummingbird, I thought it would be fun to look at a few clips of those stages 
um, there'll be a clip of a baby hummingbird hatching out of its shell and I think that's really fun to see those itty bitty little hatchlings coming out of that shell and um, some other parts and stages of the hummingbird's life. So we will take a look at those clips now and then we'll come back and we will talk about the parts of hummingbirds. What different parts of the hummingbird are there? Okay, so we'll take a look at these clips. I hope you enjoy them and then we'll come back together. Okay. Here is the clip of a little baby hatchling just coming out of its shell. Look at how tiny and new to the world it is. Now here, they're a few days older and they're still pretty tiny and don't have very many feathers, but Mama Bird is still feeding them, helping them grow. And now this says 15 days old and you can see that they're getting bigger and looking more like hummingbirds. They have their feathers and they're flapping their wings and seem a little more like the hummingbirds we see flying around. Oh my goodness, look at how stuffed in that nest they are. Mama Bird is still feeding them and taking care of them and helping them grow big and strong, but they're still cozy in that nest. Oh my goodness, they look like they're just getting ready to fly. Here they are definitely chicks and nearing their adult stage. And the last stage of becoming an adult hummingbird is learning to fly. And this bird, remember there was two, and now the last one looks like it's getting ready to fly away. All right, welcome back. Those are some awesome clips, weren't they? It is really fun and interesting to see those stages of a hummingbird's life in real time. Um, instead of just looking at a picture, we get to see it in motion. So I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, we're gonna move on into part two of this video, which is talking about the parts of a hummingbird, the different body parts of a hummingbird, what they're called and what their purpose is. So let's get into that. I drew or made <laughs> a picture that shows a hummingbird right there. And then along the side here is the names of the different body parts. So I thought that we could talk about these parts and I have my black marker here and I'm going to use it to draw a line from the word to the part and we'll talk about it as we go along. All right, so I'm gonna position myself a little bit so that you can see all these things. There we go. All right, so we've got the hummingbird, right? Uh, the first part we're going to talk about is the bill, the part that sticks out. So here it says bill. I'm going to draw a line all the way over to the bill. That's the bill. Can you see that? There we go. So the bill is needle thin. So it's as thin as a needle if you've ever seen one. And that is so that they can go deep down into that flower to get nectar. So that's the bill. That's the part that helps the hummingbird get to the nectar inside the flower. All right, so next we have the eyes, the eyes of the hummingbird. So I'm gonna draw a line all the way down and even onto the hummingbird to point to the eye, the eye of the hummingbird so they can see where they're going. They're flying here and there. They're flying fast and in order to see where they're going, they need eyes, right? They see with their eyes where they're going. All right, so next we're going to talk about the wings, the wings of a hummingbird. So I'm gonna draw two lines because hummingbirds have two wings. There we go. So you can see that. All right, so they have two wings and hummingbirds wings, they beat so fast that they can seem invisible. They flap. 12 to 90 times per second per second that is so fast we can't even flap our arms or our hands that fast hummingbirds have really really fast wings and they uh, when they are sorry when they're flapping that fast um, they make a humming sound because they're flapping so quickly and that is how the hummingbird got its name by those wings right here that flap so fast that it makes a humming sound in the air. Pretty cool, isn't that? Okay, so now we have the body. 
I'm gonna draw a line right around here's the body Oop, here's my arrow the body of the hummingbird and then we have the feet now something interesting about the hummingbird's feet you can see right there is that they are very tiny on a hummingbird and when they're flying you can barely spot them because they're so small and the hummingbird's feet, sorry, let me pull that down. The hummingbird's feet um, are actually not for walking. A hummingbird doesn't walk. The feet are only so that it can perch, it can hold on to and sit on a branch. So the hummingbird's feet aren't really for walking. It's just for holding on to a branch while sitting and resting after all that flying and flapping of their wings. Okay, so then our next part, the head. There's the head right here, to the head of the hummingbird. And that's the part that has the eye and the bill attached to it, right? Okay, and the next part we have here is, I'm gonna go through those lines, is the tail. All right, so there's the tail of the hummingbird. Can you see that? There we go. Pretty cool. So, pretty easy, pretty simple. The parts of a hummingbird, we've got the bill, that's the part that is long and needle thin so that it can get down and deep down into that flower and lick up all the nectar. And then we have the eyes of the hummingbird because they got to see where they're flying. And then we have the wings, which are very important to the hummingbird, obviously. They need to fly up to those flowers and the wings, when they flap so fast, make that humming sound. Another fun fact. Um, the hummingbird's wings fly so fast that it's almost like a helicopter. Um, they can hover and they can fly forwards and backwards. They're actually the only bird that can fly backwards. Pretty cool. And it's because their wings can flap so fast. Remember that was 12 to 90 times per second. So incredibly fast. And then we had the body of the hummingbird. Remember, we talked hummingbirds don't get very big, not bigger than a grown-up's hand from their fingertip to their wrist. So their bodies aren't usually that big and they're pretty light so that they can fly really quickly. Um, and their feet, which are actually not even for walking, they're just for holding onto those branches so that they can sit down and rest or um, hold on to their nest while they're feeding their baby chicks and yeah. So we have the feet and then we have the head right here and then the tail. All right, so there is the parts of hummingbird. Pretty great, all right. Well, that about wraps up our time together. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you all again. I miss you so much. Um, and I hope you all are having a good time at home and are able to get out for some walks. Maybe you've seen a hummingbird. Maybe you built one from the last time we were together. Um, I sent home a kind of how-to for building your own hummingbird feeder. So if you did that, hopefully you've had some visitors. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys again next week. Okay? Bye!